Hello and welcome. I am Gayatri from handmadebyg3.com. I am guesting for W plus 9 today. In today's video, I am sharing three cards using loose watercolor technique to create backgrounds. For two of the three cards, I have used W plus 9 modern animani stamp set. I have chosen three of the flowers and two of the leaves from the set and mounted them all on my acrylic blocks. Then I have trimmed two Bristol Smooth cardstock to four and a quarter and five and a half inch in size. To create masks, I have stamped the flowers and leaves on masking paper and cut them out using my scissors. Now I'm going to start stamping the anemones and the leaves to create a floral cluster. For that, I stamp, mask, stamp, mask to cre create the cluster I am satisfied with. I am starting off slightly offset from the center of the Bristol Smooth panel to make my first cluster. I have speeded up my video as I am a slow crafter. If I leave it in real time, we are going to have a very very long video. So here is my first cluster. Now I am going to repeat the same process and fill the entire panel. Each of the cluster is different from the other. Once I stamp my second and the third cluster, I fill in the empty spaces using the leaves from the stamp set. Here is my stamped panel and I repeated the same masking and stamping technique to make a large cluster for my second panel. If you find masking and stamping time consuming, then W plus 9 has beautiful bouquet stamp set series with beautiful large floral cluster images. These images can be used to stamp a number of times on a panel to completely fill the panel. To color my stamped panels, I have chosen Zig Clean Color brush pens. I prefer these pens to the traditional watercolor because I feel I have a bit more control uh, over where I put the colors and how I am able to move them. And Bristol Smooth cardstock is uh, perfect with Zig Clean Color uh, watercolor pens. For watercoloring, I have used emerald green, okay, light blue, light pink, and yellow Zig pens. Uh, Later in the video, I will be replacing the Orke with light gray uh, marker pen because um, I didn't like the way the Orke color looked on the center of the flowers. And I also have a couple of brushes, towel and a cup with water. I started putting a small swipe of emerald green on the interior area of the leaves and then coming in with a wet brush to move the colors to make a light wash. I do not move the color to fill in the entire leaves. I leave a large white space on each area of the leaf as highlight. And I also don't use a whole lot of water and flood the entire area. The brush is only damp. I take away the excess of water from the brush by wiping the brush off on the towel. Once I finish the first layer, I come back to add more pigment to the to some of the areas of the leaves to add shading and depth. Depending on your liking, you can add two, three, four, five layers of colors. I did just two uh, for the leaves. Uh, and a couple of flowers, but for the blue flowers, I came in with a third layer. I repeat the same process for the flowers. Each of the flower cluster has three colors of flowers, and I have tried not to have the same color flowers next to each other. I rotate my panel while I watercolor. That makes it a bit easier uh, for the coloring process. And I also 
um, color each flower put in the first light wash for each of the flowers uh, move on to the other flower or the, another color and then I then come back uh, to add my second and third layer with the zig pens uh, if you add if you brush on a uh, very wet uh, paper basically the the pen absorbs water back and you don't actually get the pigment flowing back so you it's better to wait for the paper to dry a little bit before coming in to add more pigment for the second and the third layer I use the same technique to color all my three panels. For the ranunculus panel, I use the jewel tones to color and I love how that panel turned out. I added okra, okra, is that what you say, how you say it, to the flower centers in the beginning but then here you can see later I added light gray to the center of the flowers as well as the background to make the floral cluster pop. Now to add details to the flower centers I used Sakura black glaze pen and for the ranunculus panel I added the detail to the berries only. For the sentiment I have used the fabulous dye. I die cut two black cardstocks and I'm going to be using the negative panel here. So I trim the negative panels, two of them, with an angled edge on one side. Using foam adhesive, I adhere the two negative panels on two of the fully colored background panels. For the large watercolor cluster panel, I use the positive die cuts, uh, which was left over from the negative die cut panels which I stacked them, stacked, glued for added dimension. Um, by the way, I trimmed the two anemones uh, background panels to four by five and a quarter inch, while I kept the ranunculus panel to four and a quarter by five and a half inch. Here is where I decided to add some black spatters to the background. I covered the die cut sentiment with a scrap piece of paper and spattered some ivory black Mijolo Mission wa traditional watercolor. I love fine spatters on floral background because they give an artistic uh, feel to the background. The black spatters also ties in with the black outline of the stamped images and the black negative die cut panel bringing the entire card together. For the secondary sentiment, I used uh, the sentiments from That Is All stamp set, which I simply stamped in black on strips of white cardstock, trimmed and adhered it on top of the uh, fabulous negative die cut panels. The ranunculus background, I just glued directly on the card base while I used foam adhesive for the anemones background panels. To finish the cards, I added a few Nuvo crystal drops in white. Here are all the three cards completed. I will leave you with the photos of the individual cards and the close ups. All the supplies used to make these cards are listed below in the description bo box. For more details, please visit WPlus9 blog. Thank you, Dawn, Jana, and WPlus9 crew for giving me an opportunity to guest design for WPlus9. Hope you are inspired by my project today, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.